What's going on people and welcome back to another Premier League predictions for this game week which is game week 8. I think this game week's one of the best we've had so far in terms of potential exciting games and big games. Yeah I think it could be one of the best game weeks so far this season just because of some of the matchups. So let's get into it. First up on Saturday then to kick off the game week, half 12 kickoff, Luton Town versus Tottenham. Now Luton obviously just getting a recent victory, their first three points on the board, but I think it's going to be back to reality in this one of what they're going to have to get used to, and that is losing games this season. Even though they're at home, they're up against Tottenham, who are one of the form teams so far this year, still unbeaten. I think Tottenham are going to have too much firepower. I think Luton will score, and I think they'll put a bit of pressure on them for periods of the game, but I think Tottenham's quality will, will shine and, and get them through the game. I'm going 3-1 away to Tottenham. Three o'clock kickoff then. First, Burnley versus Chelsea. I'm going with a 2-0 away win to Chelsea to follow on from their recent victory as well. Burnley and company are going to struggle this year. I do think they'll just do enough to survive, but I can't see them beating Chelsea. Maybe they could grab a point, but I'm going 2-0 away to Chelsea. Everton versus Bournemouth. I've gone with a 1-0 home win to Everton in this, but I wouldn't be surprised if, Ever if Everton mess this up or grab a point or even lose. But I, I do think Bournemouth on their day can be very good and they play some good football. But you never know what you're going to get with them. It's hard to predict this one, I think. But I'm going to go with a home advantage to Everton 1-0. Fulham versus Sheffield. Obviously, Fulham just losing to Chelsea. Um, so their confidence might be down a bit. But Sheffield are just struggling themselves a lot. Newly promoted, obviously. I think they're going to struggle to score enough goals this season. At home, Fulham, I think they'll have enough. I'm going 2-0. Manchester United versus Brentford. Look, I'm not optimistic about it. I think Brentford are a brilliant team. They have been since they've come up. They all work for each other. Frank gets the best out of all of them. And this is even without Tony at the moment, and they're still performing, which I predicted they would do. Um, and for us, look, just lost to Galatasaray, which I predicted, and we did lose. Just all over the shop. We have no consistency. We're not a fluid team. It is moments FC. And because of that and the team factor in football, I think Brentford will get the victory against us. I'm going 2-1 away to Brentford. Lastly then on Saturday, half five kickoff, we've got Crystal Palace versus Nottingham Forest. And I've gone with an away win to Forest in this, 1-0. Um, not a lot in it. I think it'll be a scrappy game. Eze is now out for six weeks at minimum for Palace, so he's going to be a massive miss. Obviously, Elise's already been out injured and missing for a while. I think they'll struggle without Eze especially. Um, so I'm going with Forrest to snatch this one 1-0 one away. Going into Sunday's games then, we've got four. We've got Brighton versus Liverpool at two o'clock. I think this could be game of the weekend, potentially. I think Liverpool are fully on it so far this season. And Brighton, most weeks are on it. They've had a little few dips here and there. But another team similar to Brentford that I'm a big fan of. I love their recruitment and the players they bring in and their philosophy. I think the Serbies are very underrated. But... I have gone with Liverpool to edge this one. I just feel like they got the confidence and momentum at the moment. And I think that that will probably scrape them through this game. But we never know with Brighton. I've gone with a 2-1 away win to Liverpool. West Ham versus Newcastle. And by the way, can we just so show some appreciation and love for what Newcastle did last night against PSG? Like, Mbappe was made to look like a ghost. 4-1 win against PSG with Donnarumma in goal, by the way. I mean... They deserve their credit, Newcastle. Everyone had them down and out before the, the game started off when the draw got announced. And they've got a point and three points in two games. So, look, you, you, can't, you can't deny it. And, and I think, like I said, I've predicted them to finish second in the league, let alone Champions League. I think that they could go pretty far in that too if they all pull together, which they are doing at the moment. So, massive... Congratulations to Newcastle. This one, I've gone with them to, to grab a draw and I've gone 2-2. I think there'll be a lot of goals. I think it'll be an exciting game um, and hope it lives up to it. 2-2 two, two for me. Another 2 o'clock, we've got Wolves versus Aston Villa. Wolves, very difficult to predict. Some weeks they show up, other weeks they don't. Huang's an important player for them. Um, Neto's been very good recently. I still struggle. I still think that they're going to struggle though to score enough goals. And I think Villa are a bit more in form at the moment. So I've gone with a 2-0 away into Villa in that one. And then lastly for this game week, guys, a massive game on Sunday at half four. Arsenal versus Manchester City. 
Interestingly enough, De Bruyne obviously is out for a long time. They both got injuries. Saka's going to be out, it looks like. He's played, I read something the other day that Saka, let alone cop competitions, but just in the league, he's played about 89 Premier League games in a row. That's crazy. And I'm surprised he hasn't had injuries more often because of the amount of foot he plays. Hopefully he can make the game, but it's not looking too optimistic. Hard to predict this one. I don't think there's going to be a lot in it. I don't think City have been full throttle so far this season. But Arsenal haven't either. I think it's going to be one goal that decides this game. And I have gone with City. I've gone with a 2-1 away win. But anything can happen in that game. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Who's your team got? And how do you predict their outcome? Catch you soon.